What's up? This is Dixon with the Rockin' Wrestling Federation, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. So we're back out here for day two over here at Skeletor Park. Last night I caught a couple of bluegill. One of them was very nice, and I mean very nice, especially for here. All right, fingers crossed we can get something up. Fish, first fish of the day right here. What do we got? Bluegill, nice. There we go, it's getting a little bit dark, but you can see them. Got about a seven inch bluegill there. Interesting colors, kind of purple. Let's keep fishing. There's a nibble. Something small, kind of playing with it, but I got that one. There we go. Oh, that feels like a good fish. That feels like a good fish. Yes. Jumbo. Holy cow. This is my biggest bluegill of the year. Wow. Holy cow, guys. Check this out. Now that is a jumbo. Jumbo bluegill. Well past my wrist. Eight and a half almost nine inches right here for me that is a big bluegill we got a boat coming in too we're gonna let him go and see if we can get a couple more this one is amazing Ploosh. it's raining today we're still gonna give it a shot because this is the time I have let's get baited up and see if we can catch a few more fish we're gonna start from the bank this time and maybe work our way to the dock if I can't get a bite. But I seem to get more bites over here towards the mouth of the channel than I do over there off the dock. Let's get a gulp minnow on here. Looks like I have about four or five left. These last me for a long time. One jar will last for months. I'll catch a ton of fish on one jar. Hi, this is Michael from Weatherford, Texas, and you're watching Realistic fishing. Keep it realistic. All right. Let's see if there's anything out here on this cold, rainy day. There's a nibble. I saw a shad out of the corner of my eye as well. Fish on. Doesn't feel like a very big one. You never really know though till you get it in your hand. Got about a six inch bluegill here. Good first fish. Yeah, that ain't bad. Not quite a keeper. If I was looking to eat them, I'd probably let this one go. That's one so far out here in the rain. You might be wondering why I fish here so often. It's because this water is shallow and it warms up first. As the water warms up, the fish start to show up. First you get yellow bass, then you get bluegill, then you get largemouth bass. At least typically that's what happens around here. I'd love to get another nine inch, oh, I had a bite. I'd love to get another nine inch bluegill like I got yesterday. It's a pain in the butt trying to keep the lens free of water. Got him. A little bit better, a little more fight on this one.
Yeah, similar in size, maybe a little bit larger. Good second fish. Yeah, that one's closer to seven inches. Nice and thick. I'd think about keeping that if I was hungry. Let's let it go. Let's just get it back out there. Got him. All right, another bluegill, I think. This one has a little bit of fight in him. Yeah, another nice one. Yeah, this one looks pretty much like those last couple. Let's see how long he is. Yeah, six and a half, seven inches. Good looking bluegill. I'm Steve from Bass and Grass YouTube channel, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I think I'm actually catching more fish in the rain than I was last night. And that's fine with me. Got him. There we go. This one feels a, a little bit better. A little bit stronger anyway. Another nice one. Looks like it's in that seven inch range. I think I found a school of these six and a half, seven inchers out there. I'm getting one bite after the other. And I'm glad, because this weather sucks. Nice one. Let's let him go before he jumps out of my hand. Got him. Yeah, not bad. Another six or seven inch bluegill here. More like six and a half, if you would lay down. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, look at my shirt. This is how I'm trying to dry off the camera. It's just getting soaked. Yeah, I have to dry off the camera every other cast. The rain is now soaking through my jacket. There was a bite. Take it. Got him. Let's see if it's the same kind of thing here. Six, oh, he came off right there. Six, seven inch bluegill, I bet. Still got my bait, so we'll just get it back out there. This is Jason Xavier, open weight champion for Top Rope Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. This water is accumulating right there. I didn't think it was so deep. Now my shoes are soaked. Yeah, this rain is changing directions. Now it's blowing right at me. 
was coming over my right shoulder for a minute. Now it's blowing right into the camera. One more cast. Got him. Last fish right here. Another bluegill. Last fish of the day right here. Another seven inch bluegill. I'm just dealing with so much water on the lens and I'm soaked. It's time to go. Well, that just about does it. I did catch a bunch of bluegill today, but the rain is just too much to deal with. I'm soaked. The camera's getting soaked. It's time to go. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.